Kenya quite improved during the five years in terms of hemophilia care. And the reason is we did donate much more factor to uh, the Kenya Hemophilia Association and the treatment centers in Nairobi, Eldoret, and the satellite centers around the country, thanks to the humanitarian aid program. When we went to hospital, we were advised by the doctor to our supplies, the boy was breathing in the brain. That is when the journey started, a very, very tough journey, traumatizing journey. The breeding could not stop. Initially, when we started off, we had limited facilities in terms of uh, diagnostics and also in access to treatment for the patients. After knowing that you were suffering from hemophilia, it was going to the hospital now and then. We had to stop. Our business had to stop so that we can concentrate on taking care of him and taking him to the hospital. It was a big challenge. The institution told me that they are going to give this boy the, the factor. And they promised me one thing. This drug is very, very expensive. So I told them, go ahead. Where will you get the money from? I told them, I don't know. What I don't want, don't let my son die. We were told that this condition is not treatable. It is just controllable. But that made us to be scared because we knew what cannot be treated. Eventually, it might cause death. When we started receiving the humanitarian aid from the World Federation of Hemophilia, this had a big impact. It helped us to be able to treat the acute bleeds that the patients were having. When we went back, God worked in a very miraculous way because there was a nurse who was in turn and asked me, Mama Steve, you are taking factor. I'm going to connect you with a certain doctor in Kenyatta National Hospital. His name is Dr. Kibet. I asked how much is they going to sell for us? Nothing! What do you mean? Where are they getting? Is it fake? <laughs> because I couldn't believe it was free. Right now, with the availability of the product, it's much easier actually, one, to treat a bleed, secondly, prevent a bleed, and where a bleed has caused, you know, some level of uh, morbidity, we can actually be able to make reversals. This led really to a very good uh, improvement in the care in terms of diagnosis, in terms of management, and in terms of prophylaxis for the kids with hemophilia. For those that have already been diagnosed, it's much easier to manage them. Now we have an isolated clinic for the patients where they can just walk in and walk out. We can monitor them easily. The hospital stay, the number of bleeds, most of those have remarkably reduced. As he continued to get medication, when he was wounded again or hurt, the blood was not oozing the way it used to be. Yesterday, he was wounded in the hands, but the blood did not come out. So it was, he, he, he looks just like a normal child. I thank God for Kenya Hemophilia Association, World Federation of Hemophilia, because they have really helped us.